I don't understand what's so hard. You'll be in and out within minutes. Your mother and I did it. I just don't feel ready, Dad. Unless you don't want me to have grandchildren. Let's give the kids time to plan themselves. Bringing children into this world is such a huge responsibility. If it is a question of money, I have more than enough. And children these days are self-reliant. My policies have made sure that getting children is not only safe but convenient. So, what other selfish reasons do you have? I think I should head to the grocery before the curfew. No, no, no. It's, it's okay, I'll go. What do you need? I thought you'd never come. Mm. Smell great. But that mask doesn't do it. You must not be familiar with how? I was born here if that's what you're asking. I was away but I'm home now, where I belong. I live just around the corner. I'll show you if you come home. No, no, uh, uh, not today. Tomorrow then, fine lady. something. You had a suitor, a good man from a good family who expressed interest in marrying you. Mind you, you're not getting any younger. And now you want to throw all that away because you met some boy. So bad you must be in your ear, Dad. I know everything that happens in Kiza. I am the guardian. I am the law. Bear that in mind. I don't want you meeting him. End of discussion. Just like that. It's all good now. Why is everything so black and white with you? Enough with your insights. You know you're lucky. You're my daughter. I've whipped people for far less. I know your father can be hard at times, but he just wants what's best for you. Do you really believe that? I mean, what about what I want? What about what you want, Mom? Oh, Victoria, sweetheart, we've had this conversation countless times before. I'm with your father on this. I've even had his reasons. Like, what do you even know about this man's family? I haven't gotten there yet. Why? 
I'll tell you the whole story. That's the whole story. I can see you never got round to open the gift I got you. You know how to. Yeah, mom. <laughs> you know. In the olden days, this would have been a different conversation. Nowadays, parents don't have to worry about that because your father has made sure that certain things are made impossible or at least unacceptable. I'm not even sure if that's that's good. What's that saying? Um, you can't miss something you've never had. <laughs> <laughs> Did he remember? Your father loves you very much. You always make excuses for him. A part of me feels that I'm a disappointment. Don't say that. That's not true. You're beautiful, intuitive, and we're both very proud of you. Your father could be a, a bit hard, and he may have forgotten to love. Thank but you. go again. I even wonder how you guys even met. He was not always like that. He was everything a woman would want in a man. He was handsome, considerate, an achiever, loving. He'll take me for long walks, holding my hand. <sighs> but we can't do that anymore. Times have changed and so have we, without even noticing it. That's your lifetime companion, eh? Okay, I'm um, good. Um. <laughs> Absolutely necessary. Why are the rules so hard? I've made them with you in mind. For your safety. It's a cruel world out there. I just wanted to go for some fresh air. This is my house. You just don't go in and out as you like. It's not a lodging. If you're not back home, my curfew, stay there. Your mother and I won't come looking for you. the one you're wearing today. Does it do me justice? It's already an injustice covering up such beauty. Is this how you talk to all the girls? Not all. Just the one. All that look on your face, what's bothering you? 
I wanted to know if uh, if if it's true what they say about your family. I'm sorry, I know it's not something you want to talk about. I know what people say. So tell me, so I know it's not a scheme by my dad to keep us apart. I've heard the rumors. People say my family is the reason the virus exists in Giza. And we're to blame for all these restrictive measures in place. Yes, you know. The virus was then labeled novel because it had never before been recorded. That was 30 years ago. Your father Gregor was a guardian then. My late dad was a professor at university where he and a few colleagues of his held the opinion that COVID was a hoax. They believed whatever was happening in Kiza was mass hysteria coupled with the old guardian's greed in extorting money from the West. That's insane. I mean, the reason we have these strict measures is because the virus never went away. So now this is our new norm. I'm not finished. So when the old guy didn't go to hearing what my dad and his cronies went on about, he burst out door one day while we were having dinner. He came in with two men who knocked my dad out and towed him away like a broken vehicle. Sometimes I feel like those events are a dream, but I'm reminded they're not, because I leave those consequences. I was just a boy then, seeing my dad so helpless, my mom screaming her lungs out. Your dad was there. Why am I not surprised? He turned up out of nowhere and helped calm my mother down. My dad. Calm someone down. <laughs> you must have him confused with someone else. He even told us where they're taking my dad. As it turns out, he was the one that told on him and led the old guardian right to our doorstep. Shit, no. No, that doesn't sound like him. I'm so sorry about what happened. Where did they take him? I guess he's always been ambitious. Your dad. Do you ever wonder how he became the most powerful man in Kiza? I don't know, by snitching. <laughs> by being the old guardian's eyes and ears on the ground. When the old man retired, he named him his successor. What happened to your dad? Of course we weren't allowed to see him. And days felt like weeks. But it was only a week later when we noticed him hard at the gate. He wasn't dead. But he was very sick. And he begged us to stay away from him. Naturally, my mother wouldn't have any of that. She cared after him. But I heeded his advice and went away. Two weeks later, it was reported that the coronavirus had claimed its first two victims in Kiza. My parents. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay now. That was a long time ago. But it's a shame really that my parents are buried in the middle of the night and by strangers. The girls are then sprayed with chemicals. These are people who had given so much in their lifetime. But that's how they're remembered now. As though they had been carriers of a deadly disease. Fuck. It's sad, yeah? Mr. Kiza told me I shouldn't come home past the curfew. Oh. I'm sorry. 
I could go on forever. You can sleep if you don't mind. Do you? I mean, it's not like you planned it. Did you? Are you kissing me or skimming with your father? <laughs> Should it be any different with my daughter? Well, you said it yourself. Your own daughter. She shouldn't have to suffer when the father is a guardian. We don't even know if she's okay. Why don't you just bend the laws for once in her favor? Just send some men to go and collect and bring her home safely and quietly. What kind of example would I be setting to the people of Kiza if I break the laws that I myself have put in place? Don't you think it's a bit too late to talk about that? Why? Because of the virus. You know, the only reason Kiza has managed to maintain itself and survive this long is, is because of the rules that are put in place to, to avoid physical contact. Exactly the problem. What do you mean? We didn't go to the doctors. Our own daughter is not like the rest of her generation. She was not made in the lab. Like you would want her to believe. I'm already regretting that decision. Oh, I didn't see you regret back then. Know your place, woman. Or what? Or what? Are you going to whip me in public? Oh, Gregor. I have stood by you all these years just because I knew there was something special that I was supposed to take care of. But you have denied your people the basic need of touch, yet you went ahead and made a whole baby. You are a wretched man. What do you mean? We took extreme measures, but yes. I've seen us weather the COVID storm. But I've ensured we don't have a future. It's little one of the cities full of crime, rapes, murders. These are adults who never learned how to use touch and thus associate it negatively. They never experienced a mother's love. But the virus, if we encourage touch, that's how it's going to spread. I don't think it had anything to do with the virus. It's like responding to a mosquito bite with a hammer. It's ridiculous. Besides, laws don't prevent people from doing things. They just ensure those codings say things get punished. But you seem to follow the laws. You wear a mask, don't you? <laughs> to protect myself from your father. <sighs> I'm not saying that the virus never existed. I'm just finding it hard to believe it stayed in Kiza all these years. If you had a goose, and she laid golden eggs, would you kill her? What are you trying to say? Your father, the guardian, is finding it hard to say goodbye to a scheme that gave him so much power and many 
him so much money. So he would rather keep people in fear by supplying forged statistics on those affected by the virus while offering no solutions at all so that he can go on eating. Crazy, right? I feel like I've been living a lie. You have no idea. That's why they banned the internet, isn't it? Under the guise that it promotes immorality. You learn fast. The reason I came back to Kiza is I want the people to be free. And that starts by arming them with the tools of information. Help them get back their power, their dignity, and their humanity. No more shall they be in the dark. I'll understand it. My you. loyalty lies with you. We're gonna do this together, you and I. You know, it's true what they say. If you want to survive, one must live by the rules, but to thrive, one must break them. Read tomorrow, then. We shall lead the uprising right to his doorstep. Where she is, don't you? You have a very low opinion of me. I know everything that happens in Kiza. I am the guardian. I am the law. Bear that in mind. I knew where she was headed from the time she left home. She can't stay away from him. I've been worried sick and you didn't even think of telling me that. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought as her mother you would know. But never mind. She'll come asking for my forgiveness. I know what she's been up to. I am the only one who can take away her guilt. You delude yourself. I'm surprised you don't know her enough. Right now, as we speak, the veil is probably being lifted and she will see you for who you are.
have no secrets to protect. The weapon of true democracy is openness. Look around. The people are free. Yeah. <laughs>